Okay, dear, let us see what is there in this question. A glass block has a refractive index in air of Ng. The glass block is placed in two different liquids, liquid X of refractive index Nx and liquid Y of refractive index Ny. In the liquid X, Ng by Nx comes out to be equal to 2. In liquid Y, it comes out to be equal to 1.5. So what is the speed of light in liquid X divided by speed of light in liquid Y? So my dear students, to understand this question properly, like this question is quite confusing, I would say. The statement is bulkier and it's difficult to imagine what, what is happening here. Just try to understand this thing. How is the refractive index defined? The refractive index is defined as the speed of light in air divided by the speed of light in the medium. So if I talk about the liquid X, so the medium X, it will be written like this. And if I talk about Y, it will be written as this. It has nothing to do with the glass. You see, if the glass is inside the liquid or not, and we, we, least, we are least concerned about it because that's not the question. Anyways, even if they were asking about the glass, even then the formula will be the same. You would be writing like the refractive index of glass will be defined as C divided by the velocity of light inside the glass. But we are talking about inside the liquid. So whether the glass is there or whether it's not, doesn't matter. Now let us see, speed of the light in the liquid X and the speed of light in the liquid Y, it will be given by, you see, we have come to this conclusion that refractive index of X is inversely proportional to speed of light in X. So speed of light in X, so you can always write it that refractive index of Y divided by refractive index of X. Okay. I think things should be clear till now. And what about NY and NX? We can find the value of NY and NX from here in the terms of NG. So NX can be taken as NG by 2 and NY can be taken as NG by 1.5 and we can just now replace these things here. So our answer will be instead of NY it will be NG divided by 1.5 and instead of nx, it will be ng divided by 2. So the reciprocal of ng divided by 2 will be multiplied with the equation. ng and ng thereby gets cancelled out. This can be taken as 3 by 2. So it will be 2 by 3 multiplied by 2. So the answer should be 4 by 3. So accordingly, the answer comes out to be equal to c. So my dear students, the statement is that much confusing. Like they have brought in this glass block from somewhere. And they have just tried to confuse us a lot. Like in the first liquid, we inserted the glass. In the second liquid, we inserted the glass. But that is not required at all. Because when you talk about the speed of light inside something, only and only refractive index is taken care of. Nothing else. It does not depend upon any other factor. Even if they ask you about what will be the speed of light in the glass, how would you be doing it? You would be taking this formula into account. So VGC divided by NG. And I know that refractive index for glass is 1.5. So we can just substitute the values and find the velocity of the light inside the glass. And you see, if we're talking about glass, we are not at all considering X or Y, like the combinations doesn't matter. All the mediums are technically individual and we are just dealing them separately. That is the crux behind this question. So my dear students, let us verify the answer from the mark scheme. And yes, the answer is C. So my students, uh, this is Professor Varun. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you have any other doubts, you can just mention those in the comment section. All the best. Bye.